of truth as an object. The more we breathe, the more energy we have. Be content with the choices mm -hmm. that we are making in life. I know you practice my sorrow yoga, Ashtanga yoga, and practice very serious. Yeah? Every day it's like discipline and uh, concentration. And I know you like free diving uh, to connect with the ocean. This is your keys of your happiness now. Do your practice and uh, this way of life. Uh, well, well, you know, f first of all, if it depends on our approach to uh, any practice. whether it was yoga, qigong, or kung fu, whatever it is, uh, we need to approach it with the right approach, you know? Uh, and uh, it takes a long time to actually uh, learn. It cannot happen just uh, when we are lazy and we are not doing it. This is why, you know, my teacher, in the Ashtanga uh, practice, which is a very, very powerful practice. And uh, with all the uh, uh, knowledge that I thought I had from the, uh, my journey in a human society, I uh, actually come to realize how small, you know, uh, I am. Uh, with, but with limitless potential, of course. So, uh, it took many years, you know, to realize that this is not just a workout and it's not just uh, yeah. to be fit or to have like the status of like, hey, Om Shanti, I'm a guru, you know, or I'm a yoga teacher or I'm spiritual, you know, as much as, you know, uh, my understanding that no one will come and clean my house on my behalf. <laughs> so it's my body. I need to clean it every day maintain it, uh, adjust the misalignment in it. If we go into activity, into creativity, we create intention, you know? So when we create the tension, uh, we rest at night. We might sleep, we might bend the body in a way, bend the nerve. And so we need to come ourselves, me and you, every individual, our responsibility, and to purify the body we live in. If we don't purify the body, no one will come from outside and do it on our behalf. The same way we clean our car, we clean our house, we take a shower. Usually we take a shower from the outside to just like, you know, not smell bad. But our purif uh, purification is, uh, is internal work. It's related to our intention, it's related to our uh, blood uh, quality, uh, toxics in the system, balances, you know, alkaline acid balance, you know, how much water we have, how much fat we have, you know, uh, uh, our ability to produce uh, chemical in the body and manipulate uh, uh, body's chemical uh, production, uh, then this is our intelligence. And this is not going to happen just uh, because, you know, uh, somebody went to a yoga class or to a kung fu class. This is a long journey, you know, to develop, mm -hmm. to understand our system, to purify our system. Very important to live in a pure body, you know. Of course, every now and then, I go on eating too much. Well, I eat too much, and right now I'm not feeling good. <laughs> You know, and uh, I can go and blame uh, the president, you know, because I'm not feeling good, <laughs> you know, and we just c can go on. So the, the practice and the real practice is to just stay pure. And, uh, you know, you look at the trees, you know, you don't see like, uh, uh, you see healthy trees. Mm. Okay, if it had like the right nutrition, the right, and it just grows. Uh, you look at the animals, 
You know, unless they live with us, we can make them sick. But if they are out in nature, they are very healthy and they are very happy. <laughs> so it's basically, I just try not to be too much in the human society and uh, be out in nature as much as I can. You know, free diving, this is a new thing. So it takes, uh, uh, it's gonna take a long time, you know, for me to, uh, to be able to actually figure it out. But there is something about like the depth of the ocean and right. going under the water and exploring, you know, how magnificent. And uh, to actually uh, regulate our breathing because this is like another pranayama. important pranayama. Yeah. It's uh, all about uh, regulating our breathing. The more we regulate our breathing, the more we are, we are able to access mind and master mind. So now as I speak, it's at the expense of my breathing, but it's okay, you know, afterwards I will find time to breathe. Before I found time to breathe. So as we uh, go into our creative process, we need to find time to breathe, you know. If we are not breathing, we are sad people, we don't have energy. The more we breathe, the more energy we have, you know. So those are the simple things that can save us. It's not the theories uh, and the uh, sophisticated uh, dogmas of uh, truth, you know. Uh, always speak of truth as an object, and the truth is not an object, you know. It could be all objects uh, combined and objects to become. Uh, so, uh, with that said, it's experiential. As we experience truth in this sensual experience, uh, then we need to understand uh, our senses and how to perceive truth, how to perceive the material. Uh, what is hot and what is cold, and how to actually be content with the choices mm -hmm. that we are making in, in life. So, call it yoga, call it something else, call it Ashtanga. Of course, Ashtanga Yoga brought me, you know, to, uh, uh, to realize uh, and to understand things uh, in a way I did not expect. You know, I came to Ashtanga, I wanted to be fit. Mm. I wanted to uh, have a beautiful body, <laughs> that was my goal. Uh, but eventually uh, you come to realize it's beyond uh, all the physical uh, realm. Uh, so, <laughs> mm. with, with that said, thanks you know, to, to my teacher and his teacher and all the great teachers that actually uh, put us on the path. But, well, if I tell you now Ashtanga Yoga, can this guarantee for every individual in the universe to emancipate themselves? Yeah. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. You know, I can be in the room, you know, with 50 other people and doing the same exact pattern, same exact mm -hmm. sequence, you know, but 50 people experiencing 50 different uh, things. Yeah.